First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Also, true of Black Messiah, the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. Also, the final father, the true father, one West. This is Father Kings coming right back at you here with another lesson. Um, this is titled "The Situation Is." Um, before we go into Father, the lesson titled "To the Twelve Tribes of Israel," which is the so-called Blacks, the so-called Native American Indians, and the so-called Latino descent in South Central America and all various islands of the world, and is scattered among the other nations. To you, I say, Shalom. Um, yeah, this is a topic. I'm gonna make this lesson very short here. Uh, I'm gonna call this class. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna title it. Um, but the brother who passed away recently that was a, pretty much lynched in Mississippi. Um, I mean, they they cut off his you know his head. You know, they severed it, severed his spine. I mean, they did all manner of evil towards this man. Uh, towards towards this man. And this is a one scripture come to mind is the Book of Amos. You know. And um, I kind of wanted to title it, um, the only nation is going to be promised no mercy. The nation of Edom will be promised no mercy. I mean, the, the, uh, the, the so-called Chinese, the so-called Arabs, everyone going to have some type of compassion. But Esau, Edom, that nation will have no mercy. No mercy from the Heavenly Father, man. No mercy whatsoever. Let's get, to, let's get into the scriptures real quick. This is Amos chapter 1, verse 11. Thus says the Lord... For three transgressions of Edom, and for for four I will not turn turn away the punishment thereof, because he pursued his brother with his sword, and did cast off all pity, and and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. Here he is in twenty twenty two, and we still talking about lynching. You know, they just made a movie on Emmett Till. I did a class on that not too long ago. But that goes to show you, man, that this this devil, man, Esau Edom, which is a so-called white man, you know, he kept his wrath forever, man. You know, his hatred still abides, you know, and that's why it's, it's going to be an eternal judgment for that. They they not going to receive any mercy. Let's get that in the scriptures, too. And if you re when you read that verse and you really study that verse, the one I just recently um, just read, the most I said he will not turn away that judgment. Uh, a quote unquote punishment. He's not going to turn away his punishment from Esau Edom. So all that holding hands, saying kumbaya, all that's that's out the window. John three sixteen, it was talking about the Israelites. When you read the precept on that, Isaiah the forty fifth, I believe in the book of Isaiah, I believe it's in the fortieth chapter or the forty fifth chapter, one of the verses where it says Israel is a world um, without end. That world in John three sixteen was referring to Israel. You know, but further ado, let me get the second precept, the one I want to get to, just James 2 and verse 13. It says, for he shall have judgment without mercy that has shown no mercy. Esau showed no mercy. He's not going to get no mercy. And mercy rejoices against judgment. So the Most High is not going to turn away his wrath from Esau, Edom. You know, and this, this shows to prove you that who the wicked is. Here we are in 2022 and we're still talking about lynching. You know what I mean? And they decapitated this brother, man. They dis they dismembered him. And that nation is going to be, is, is, is promised no mercy, man. And you got to imagine this, man. I'm going to say this. I'm going to get ready to close out. All the stuff that we went through, and the Most High said he loved us. So can you imagine what he's going to do to the nation of Edom? You got to think about that. That judgment is going to be something we can't even comprehend. I mean, we can't even understand what type of judgment we're going to face Esau, Edom, man. I'm just scared thinking about it. Uh, anyway, I hope this lesson is very edifying. I told you I'm going to make it short. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Also, true of Black Most High, the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. Also, the final father, true father, one West. Shalom, Israel.